Hey everybody, welcome to the Midweek Check-In. You guys, this week, right at the beginning, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the whole topic is all about anointing. And actually, I see this being pointed out in Thursday, Friday too, because I looked ahead. Listen, the idea of anointing is kind of confusing. Um, I looked it up and when I just Googled it and said anointing, it means to rub oil on something. Which is very, very funny. Yes, that is part of what anointing means, um, specifically the ritualistic components of anointing. Um, for example, in the book of Exodus this week on Monday, we read about how Moses was instructed to anoint um, and consecrate the items that were going to be used in the tent of meeting. He also was instructed to anoint with oil Aaron and Aaron's son. So not only do, did we used to, and actually it's something we can absolutely still do today, we can take oil and anoint things that are set apart for God, consecrated, um, basically empowered to be used for. And then that kind of got me thinking because then we go into the New Testament in 1 John on Tuesday and we start talking about anointing from that perspective as well. Um, it's the same kind of concept, but ultimately that kind of anointing, yes, again, we can be anointed with oil. We can anoint one another with oil. Um, in fact, in our Foursquare denomination, when we do ordination, we are anointed with oil. That's something that does happen. But the cool thing is, is that actually no matter where you are, if Jesus lives inside of you, if his Holy Spirit resides inside of you, you are anointed. And I got to thinking about how cool that is. Basically, that means exactly what it meant before in Exodus. It's something, someone, someones, you and I set apart to do something specific and special. We are empowered because of the Holy Spirit and us, and we're called into our gifts and he empowers us in the midst of our gifts. We are anointed. Um, and I, when I thought a little bit more about that, I kind of was thinking about like, do I walk in the anointing that I've been given? And I had the same question for you all. With this topic, anointing, do you walk in the anointing you've been given? He empowers you. We're all set apart, right? He sets us all apart. We have good work set aside for each of us to do, things that he calls us to. What would happen this week if we decided to walk in that anointing? If we decided to say, I'm kind of scared, but I'm going to do it afraid because I believe for sure that he lives inside me, he empowers me, he has set me apart to do these things, he will give me all it takes because I am anointed and I'm going to take a step toward that. Whatever that thing is, you guys, whatever it is, like do it afraid because you are anointed. You are his anointed. You and I, we are. So that's my encouragement for you guys this week. Step into that. Go do something that you're scared to do that you feel like has been stirring inside of you. And remember that you are called to it. You are empowered to it. You are equipped by him through you, outside of you, coming out of you in that anointing. Be blessed, you guys, and have an awesome week and go do that thing. See you next week.